Welcome to Acts 2 and 42. Aliens. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's go French. Okay, so. <laughs> delusion. She showed up. Um, I think all of us can agree uh, that aliens are basically demons. No, we cannot um, all agree. No, we can't. Uh, <laughs> taking form and whatnot. I don't even know where to start with that. But can I, can, I plug, can I plug real quick? Um, it's a it's a blog um, on the website acts two forty two dot com. Go to the blog section. Um, T, didn't we put? Didn't you have a writing on that? The alien phenomena. Yeah. yeah. If it's not on the website, um, you go to my Facebook. Nobody wants to um, check out your Facebook, bro. They don't want to check out my Facebook. <laughs> they can, they, you can hit Keith up, and I'll send it to Keith. But now yeah. we'll put it on. I'll um, send you the um, the link to the article if it's not on the website, but I, it should be on the it website. Is. Yeah, I think mm, it is. The alien anyway, phenomena. Yeah, that's, he kind of went deep on that. Yeah. I wish you'd do more work like that. Carry your weight. Can we cuss on you? If you, it, look, if you've already done it in your heart, you, it's already done. <laughs> no doubt. Well, since so you say that, <laughs> right. Go ahead, Shrek. They are um, admitting. I'm admitting um, that they have, or that they know that there's aliens and stuff like that. Now, um, I, I, it, it makes me nervous because I feel like the fact that you guys are admitting it, I know for some they're probably thinking, oh, you know. Now they're admitting it. What if we get attacked by aliens? And now they have their own space force. Like you got, you have uh, <laughs> Navy, Marines, space military. Air Force, you know, space force. Army, and Space Force. Like it's an mm-hmm. actual, and I think people nearly, that's not NASA. It's a branch of the military now. Like that's a big thing. Like, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, like who do y'all plan on the military is used for defense and offense? Who do y'all plan on fighting? Like, you and know what this, I mean? All this rolled out in one year. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so now they're re- like releasing the videos and stuff like that. You know, everybody that was a crackpot is now validated. You know what I mean? So, um, but my concern <laughs> with it is one, why are you admitting this now? Two, why is it not really put out there? Like, if this is a huge thing, like, why don't you? This should be like front page news, if that's the case. I mean, come on, you guys just admitted aliens exist mm-hmm. and you have video footage that you're releasing drip by drip all this all, all this time. Um, now me, I'm the loser that already knew because I was looking at like documents and stuff like that, you know, for ever. So my concern is- I don't know about that. Uh, my concern, I was a weird kid too. My concern is <clears throat> um, why y'all doing this? Because I think my, my theory is that they will, uh, make these guys the benevolent ones. They're going to come with the remedies. They're going to come with the healings. They're going to come with the peace. They're going to come with all these things. And, you know, they just was trying to communicate to us this whole time. And, you know, they're waiting for humanity to evolve and everything. And they got all these new glorious things for us, you know, in exchange for our souls. But <laughs> uh, that's my concern. I think they're, they're, while everyone's looking here, like, oh, my God, we might get attacked by aliens. I'm looking way back here, like, 20 years down the line or something, and they're just going to, these are going to be the benevolent ones that come save us from ourselves because we are in total disarray, chaos, <laughs> killing each other, disease infested, waters turned to blood, mountains are melting. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Total chaos. So, and they're going to come down as the saviors or something like that or have the Antichrist, you know, because they're team Antichrist. So, yeah. Anyway, like mm-hmm. I wish I could make all my thoughts come into one so you guys can see it. But, uh, that's well, what that's what bothers me the most. It's nothing new, and I swear this is the state. This has happened in the '60s. Um, they was worshiping a god called Astaroth. I'm gonna call him a god because he is, you know, little G. Um, mm-hmm. This is the same guy that they was talking about biblically mm-hmm. in biblical times, Astra or whatever they called him back then. It's the same. Mm-hmm guy and he's spreading the same message on coming to spread peace you guys can be gods we're gonna do this it's gonna be this great utopia and everyone's still believing it so mm-hmm. it's gonna be like that again this is something that we we definitely we probably need to pull the blog you know the note that, that he had he wrote and 
and th that's definitely not to say we can't talk about it now. I'm just saying to go in depth, we need to have just a podcast where that's the topic of discussion to kind of mm -hmm. walk people through um, the biblical as well as the accounts. And I think yours yeah. does a good job of both. Mine deals with the biblical, um, whether it's Enoch. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's reference, references from the Dead Sea Scrolls in there, um, ties it in with the Book of Giants and, and the uh, Genesis account. Um, as well as secular accounts from ufologists, but also um, statements from, you know, Alistair Crowley mm -hmm. and, and um, Parsons, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so there are, there are a lot of, a lot of references. Did you have to quotes these. from like yes. a, a, abductees? Yeah. Yeah. I um, so. Quotes from abductees, quotes from the UFO, the people who actually study it, um, the, the, the top ones. And, I try not to get into the, the quote, the, the, the white coat fallacy, you know, the, the authority bias to where I'm pointing to the authority and saying, I will see because they say it, mm -hmm. but considering the biblical evidence that we have, you know, considering the extra biblical evidence that we have, considering the secular evidence that we have of individuals who weren't Christian, you know, and that's why I point to them. They're mm -hmm. not Christian. Um, and they are the leading voices in their field. Uh, and it's not self-proclaimed, mm -hmm. you know, right. and, one of them has stated that what we see of the UFO phenomena is early reminiscent of demon possession, you know, and the things that we see of old regarding demons. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's why the government or governments have been real, um, like almost don't touch with the alien phenomena. It's like, we'll put a little bit out there because they're trying to do damage control. You know, if they were to disclose all the information, there's a lot more negative accounts with these beings than there are good accounts. And the quote, good accounts um, from some of the ufologists that I've looked at, they, they state that it's only because these entities are trying to manipulate people's worldview. They're trying to, they, they make them feel like they're special, like they have a message that no mm -hmm. one else has mm -hmm. to influence their worldview, you know? Um, and there's there's always ill intent. I think it was I swear his name was John D. He was a um he was like a, an advisor to Queen Elizabeth, which there were many. And no time started studying him. And he was dealing with these entities. Mm -hmm. And he had Sounds stated familiar. he had stated after a while that I believe they're lying to me. They say they're from here, from there, but they change up where they say they're from mm -hmm. and they become more and more malicious. You know, um, and he didn't fare too well. But when you when you look at the history of alien encounters, um, which I I personally don't think they're extraterrestrial. I think it's a spiritual phenomena. I think it's the children of the the um, the giants. Mm -hmm. You know, we see where in Enoch, once they were killed, their spirits would roam the earth and do a multitude of things. Um, but they could Giants or children of the giants? The children of the giants. Children. Okay. Yeah. Um, what would you say, Shrey? Children. The, yeah, children. the children of the giants. Um, because they're, and he stated because their fathers are from heaven, but their, earth, their mothers are earthly. You know, therefore their spirits would be condemned to roam the earth. They couldn't assume their spiritual form as they could before. Um, Genesis 6 for everyone. That's not following. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something else. Gen um, Genesis six put together with it. things like Enoch or Jubilees or yeah. you know other yeah. other writings. Joshua. Oh yeah, Joshua. The one um, out. The Dead Sea Scrolls. You know, um, mm -hmm. they all reference accounts of some strange events. You know, um, interactions with angels that result in in other beings. Um, but with all that being stated. I think that what the government is doing right now in, in exposing or allowing the information to kind of leak out there, but doing it in such a way that only certain information leaks out there is this damage control. You know, mm -hmm. they're trying to craft a narrative so that when the people are comfortable enough to feel like these are our saviors, like even mm -hmm. now, um, the article that's been referenced re recently is it states that the aliens are here, but they don't want people to know and, until we stop the wars. 
So they're already setting the narrative like, oh, they're benevolent mm -hmm. and they just want the best for us, you know. See, um, that proves but, my theory. They're going to come with the peace. Yeah, mm -hmm. any good you guys can't do what we're doing for you. Yep, some of your, you got to be aware of the person that smiles in your face and says, I'm here to help you, you know. Um, I see that in all, in all aspects, you know. Um, I think that whether it's a woman or a man, the person that comes and says, that raises their hand and says, look, I'm a good person. I'm here to help you, you know, what's going on, you know, what's wrong. They're the ones you got to be the most careful of because they mm -hmm. come with ill intent. You know, they're just hiding behind the guise of goodness. Um, now, I don't see anything different here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's, um, it's definitely kind of like the, the collapse of America, the announcing of all this, the leaking, you know, kind of all this graduate mm -hmm. feels. All of it does seem to be setting up like a global stage, like a worldwide yes. stage of not only a change in society, a change in humanity, a change in the way we do things, um, but almost of like the establishing of different governance, you know, mm -hmm. you know, global UN, you know, style governance and somehow incorporating um, with them as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what plans they have. On, I mean, if, if, if what we know is true, and that these are actually mm -hmm. um, celestial entities mm -hmm. that want to be worshipped as gods, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm guessing that they want to be worshipped as gods. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> you know, um, that's what they did the, 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 the first time, you know, um, like before the flood, when yeah. they were here and they were worshipped as gods, which is where the, the, the false God, it's not that they're imaginary, it's that, that they're not the true creator mm -hmm. of everything. Um, and that's something to point out because a lot of times we, like Christians have this, I think they shoot, they, the, I think they shoot themselves in the foot by acting like Greek gods and all these other gods are quote, false gods as if they're imaginary. Mm -hmm. That's not right. the case. Mm -mm. You know, they're false gods only because they're not Christ. <laughs> they're not the father, you know, um, but they're not false in the sense where they don't exist because yeah. these entities have existed, you know, and their fathers, the angels right. existed and wanted to be worshipped as God yeah. and had a place among men as gods. Yeah. And were you saying that I got to I got to check myself every once in a while or get checked because um, I conflate angels with the children and, and all that. So that's why I had to ask you before you mean this or this just to, so I could confirm um, cause I mix them up, um, at times. So, um, but look, <laughs> we definitely, we definitely, that deserves its own hour. Um, strong delusion. Yeah. Deserves its own hour where this fits in, you know, all of it orbs, you know, all of it is like, <sighs> Uh, hopefully when we do that, we'll do a good job of warning the listener of like traps not to fall into, you know, or things not to believe. Don't trust that. You know, it's like Christ saying, if they say Christ, you know, there's Christ, he's over here in the wilderness, yeah. here in the desert or wherever, do not believe them. Where When the lightning strikes in the East, it's seen in the West or whatever. Like no one will need to tell you he's here. You know, so <laughs> something like that, just a biblical mm -hmm. sound warning of don't fall for this, you know? Um, if we don't get to it, don't fall for orbs. <laughs> they're not yeah. God. So um, they're not your, you know, deceased loved one or anything like that. Don't play, oh, with, them. God. Don't play with them. Man, look, call for some Christians, get some olive oil. I don't know, get to praying, do whatever it is you need to do. Um, but you, they're not your friends. Stay away from no. them. Be led by them. Don't, yeah, don't entertain them for any reason at all. But um but Sheree, um before, before before we're done you know i would like to um talk about jared kushner <laughs> oh man